Okay, let's discuss about this. This is soup as an emulsifying agent, eh? as emulsifier. Now, what is emulsifier? Let's talk about milk first. Milk is an emulsion. Eh? Milk as it is in, is an emulsion. So you take a glass of milk. Actually, you don't need a glass. Okay, you just need one drop. You take one drop, and then you put it under a uh, microscope. Okay, you put it under microscope. So let's say this is your microscope. Okay. Okay, so this is the microscope. You observe this one drop of milk inside microscope. Then what you see is you will find that inside this milk, okay, there is some small droplets. There's some small droplets, which is white in color. Okay, milk is white in color. You will find that. There are some small droplets suspended inside this milk. So it means that this milk it has two liquids. There's two liquid inside. Uh, one is the water, and second one is the white uh, liquids. Okay, this white liquids does not mix together with the water. It does not mix together with the water, but it forms some droplets which suspend inside this uh, milk, and uh, this is called an emulsion. So what is emulsions? Emulsions is a dispersion of one liquid in a second liquid. There's one liquid in second liquid, and the first liquid exists in the forms of droplets, droplets, uh, and suspend inside the second liquid. It does not mix together. It doesn't dissolve. Uh, okay, it still form a uh, small droplets inside that liquid. Uh, okay, but by using the naked eye, you ca you, you can see this. Okay, you will see oh milk just white in color, just one one liquid. Huh? But actually, there are two liquids inside this milk. Okay, so that is milk. Now, how do you make emulsions? Example. Okay, if you want to make emulsions, okay, you can do these experiments uh, in your house as well. Okay, after this, you can do this. You take a bottles, any mineral water bottles, huh? uh, preferably uh, transparent, huh? transparent. You pour some oil inside, pour some oil, and then after that you pour water. Now after you pour water, the oil will flood on the surface. Okay, will flood on the surface of water. So let's say this is water. This is water. Okay, you can use more water, uh, less oil. Okay, so this is oil. Now what can you do is um, you can shake, shake this oil with the water. Shake it vigorously, really shake it really hard. Okay, after shaking it, then you will find that you will get a liquid like this. You will get a creamy liquid. The water looks like the water is uh, mixed together with the oil. You will get a creamy liquid, which is uh, yellow in color. Okay, yellow in color because oil is yellow in color. This one is uh, bright yellow in color. So immediately, immediately after you shake the oil with water, okay, then you will get this creamy, uh, this creamy liquid, huh? and this is emulsions. This is emulsions, and uh, it's emulsion is because uh, when you sh after you shake this oil with water, it will form a lot of droplets, oil droplets. Uh, oil is not uh, is insoluble in water, so it cannot dissolve in water, but it will form a small oil droplets suspend inside water okay it's a span inside water so this is emulsions but if you leave it for uh, five to ten minutes then you then you will start seeing that uh, the oil start forming on the surface again the oil start forming on the surface again uh, then after after one two hours then you can see uh, the two let the two layers form again that is uh, how to make emulsions uh, but this is a temporary emulsions after a few minutes, then it will start forming two layers again. Eh? Okay, how to make a permanent emulsion? Okay, you don't want the oil separate with the water again. You want to make a permanent emulsion. Eh? So how to do that? Now you can do that by adding soup. You can do that by adding soup. You add soup inside and then you shake it. Okay, this one again. Okay? You add soup. Uh, you shake it. Okay. Then again, you will you get the same thing. Okay, you get this creamy solution, which is emulsions. That is a uh, this uh, like uh, oil droplets inside water. Okay, 
But this time, after you add soup, you will find that even though you leave it for a few hours or a few days, the oil will not separate from the water again. It will not separate from the water again after you add soup. So, therefore, in, in this case, soup play a role as an emulsifying agent. Emulsifying agent no? or emulsifier. That's what does it mean by emulsifying agent or emulsifier. Okay, in next slide, I will explain to you how soup can do that. Now, just now we learned that a soup molecule contains two parts, right? Hydrophilic and hydrophobic. So, when you shake soup water, soup in water and with oil, the hydrophobic, the hydrophobic part of the soup ions, hydrophobic means it hate water, it don't like water, but it liked oil, right? Uh, this is water. You need to know that the surrounding is water. This is water. So since the hydrophobic part, it, it, it hate water, but it liked oil, so it would dissolve in oil. It would dissolve in oil, dissolve in oil, okay? But the hydrophilic part, it love water, and then it hate oil. It don't like oil. So the hydrophilic parts will remain in water because the surrounding is water, right? So the, the hydrophilic parts remain in water, the hydrophobic parts uh, remain in oil. Okay, so this thing cannot go inside because the hydrophilic part it hate oil. It don't want to go inside oil and it, it want to remain with water. Okay, so the hydrophilic part will remain on the surface of the oil droplet. And the hydrophilic parts, it carry charge. If you still remember, okay, it carry charge. Huh? Okay, it's a COO. COO negative, eh? okay, COO negative, so it carry negative charge. So this make each oil droplets, okay, carry negative charge on the surface because there's a lot of these hydrophilic parts on the surface, eh? so all carry negative charge. And uh, like charge, same charge, they will repel, okay, they will try to push each other's away. So therefore, these water molecules cannot uh, come close to each other's. If they cannot come close to each other's, they cannot combine to form the oil layers again. So they will remain in oil droplets because these oil droplets they cannot get close to each other's and combine. Eh? That's why that's why this uh, oil and water will remain as an emulsions even for a few days. Eh? Okay, it still remain as emulsions because the soup molecule. Okay. The hydrophobic parts dissolve in oil, hydrophilic parts remain in water, and the ones that remain in water carry negative charge. They, they will repel each other to prevent the oil droplets to join together to form the oil layer. Uh, so that is how soup to act as an emulsifying agent. So as you can see, the soup ion is crucial in creating and maintaining the emulsions. So without the soup ions, the, the oil droplets will joins together to form the oil layers again. But with the help of the soup ions, then we can prevent the oil molecules to join together to form the oil layer. So for this reason, the soup are often called emulsifying agents or emulsifiers. And this is very important. Huh? This is very important because if this oil is a dirt, then these dirts cannot come close to each other. Okay. And then uh, when we use water to rinse uh, let's say this is a, a clothes, okay, the clots. Uh, if this is inside the clot, so if you we, we use water to rinse it, then this grease or oil will will uh, will be removed from the clots. So this is it, it, this is important in uh, cleaning something.